Rachel from Rugby Art Gallery Museum and I'm here today to show you our craft kits that we have created for you to use at home. These are available for you to purchase from Rugby Visitor Centre which is located in the foyer of our building. There are several kits available but in this video I will be showing you the contents of our fabric painting kit and I'll also be giving you a suggested craft that you can make at home with what's inside. Now this is just a suggested craft, so please feel free to do whatever you would like. Um, but before we get started on our suggested craft, I'm going to show you the contents of the kit and let you know if there's any other bits from around the house that you need to source to help you. Okay, let's take a look at what's inside the fabric painting kit. Now these kits very handily come in these zipper bags, which are really useful for storing other craft projects and materials. So inside we have a paintbrush, We've got fabric paints, glitter pens, your fabric bag for you to decorate, and also we have some handy instructions and some inspiration for you to look at as well. Now things that you might need to find around the home are some paper, as you might like to plan your design, a pencil, and a bit of cardboard that we're going to use to put inside the bag to protect it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure the surface that you're working on is covered and protected and also wear an apron to cover your clothes as well as we will be using fabric paints. Right, the first thing that you want to do is plan the design that you would like to put onto your fabric bag. So in these set of instructions within your kit you'll see that I have been inspired by rugby collection artist Michael Canny, Geometric Composition 1987. Now this piece is made up of triangles, squares, rectangles and different colours and I thought that that would be nice if I could put a similar design onto this bag. So what I've done is I've used a pencil and a ruler to draw out my design. Of course you don't have to do that, you could do something freehand on the bag or you could use a stencil as well to help. So you could just take a sheet of paper with a pencil, draw the design that you would like to do and then cut it out, lay it over the, the fabric and use that as a guide. So pick whichever method you would like once you've decided on the design you'd like to add to your fabric bag. And the next step that you need is you need to find a piece of cardboard. So have a look through your recycling See if you can find a piece of cardboard that you just want to insert into the bag as we're going to be using the fabric paint and we don't want that to seep through and stick the bag together. So make sure that the cardboard is covering all of the areas from underneath that you want to paint and if you're using the fabric paints first of all give them a really good shake and find your paintbrush. I'm going to use the yellow first, I think. There we go. So I'm going to start to paint onto my bag my shape. So I'm just using the pencil line that I drew on earlier on as a guide. Okay, so just as easy as that, start painting on your design. So as you can see, I've been painting my bag and these color, these paints are really lovely. As you can see, they have gone on really nicely and they've got really bold just neatening up the edge here. So I decided with my design that I wouldn't paint the whole design with colour. I thought it was nice to leave some of them empty. And I think next I will just cover up the paint so it doesn't dry out. What I can do is I could use the glitter pen to draw some lines here. So give the glitter pen a good shake. I've got a lovely silver one here. I thought this would be nice to draw with and define the edges of the design. So just give it a squeeze. 
sideways a little long so you could use this to colour in whole sections or just draw lines Okay, so as you can see, what I've done with mine here is I've just used the glitter pen to highlight the border. And what you can, can do is, is highlight some of the edges. So I'll just continue to go around these very gently and just highlight some of the shapes that I created in my design. Okay, need a steady hand for that. So I'll continue and finish that up. But once you've finished with your, with your design, what you need to do is leave that to air dry now for three days or if you wanted to speed up the drying you could iron the fabric after it's had a few hours to dry completely. Um, iron on a low heat setting on the reverse of the, uh, the fabric, just put a, a cloth or a tea towel over as well to protect it. And um, when using the glitter pens as well, this must be left to dry for eight hours um, and when applying make sure you do press lightly onto the fabric. And you just seal this by ironing as well on a low setting on the reverse of the fabric again. So once it is completely dry and you've set it and, and with the irons, the design is water resistant and washable up to 40 degrees. I've just finished up with the glitter pen and so you can see this is the finished design. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget that there are other craft kits available and tutorial videos to go with them.